as the graduates march in, along with the faculty, speaker, and the board members, led by the marshals, may I request the congregation to kindly stand on your feet and remain standing. Let us all stand. Respected Principal CDC, Dr. A. Dr. Jamir, Professor of Communication, your colleagues, faculty staff members of Clark Theological College, family members and loved ones of our graduates, and well wishes of Clark Theological College, dear students, friends, and community members of Clark Theological College. I, on behalf of Clerk Theological College, would like to welcome one and all to this 48th graduating ceremony of the graduate of 2023. Greed indeed are the words of our God forever and ever. We thank God for your presence in our midst this afternoon. We have 29 students from the Masters of Theology, 73 from the Bachelor of Divinity, and six students from DCMM who will be receiving their certificate and diploma this afternoon. And we are honored to have you here to witness this great celebration. We have seen the struggles of our students. We have seen the pain that they have gone through, the tears that they have shed, 
but we have also seen the joy, the laughter, the happiness, the great achievements, the growth in their lives. And we are so happy for our graduating class this morning, this afternoon. Therefore, we're going to ask you to sit, we're going to sit prayerfully so that each and every one of us here today will be blessed. Hope you will understand it. To read the word of God and to lead us in prayer, may I request Dr. Bohalize Sema, Department of Christian Ministry Counseling. Please come to A scripture reading from two passages, first from the book of Psalm, Psalm number 118, verses 23 and 24. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Second reading from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 41, verses 9 and 10. You whom I took from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest corners, saying to you, you are my servant, I have chosen you and not cast you off. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. Shall we look to the Lord in prayer? God, our creator, sustainer, and keeper of our lives, we give you all glory and honor for you have brought us together today from far and near, loved and dear ones of Clark Theological College. We give you thanks for this important and joyous event where we are able to celebrate the 48th graduation ceremony. With immense gratitude, we remember all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us particularly on this August gathering for 108 graduates together in one accord. We give you our praise and we give you all our adorations for making us as to choose and to welcome the predestined guests in our midst. I would like to request our principal, Professor Reverend Dr. A. Dumjan Jamia, to kindly do the honor. Respected chairperson of the Clark Theological College 48th graduation ceremony, Dr. Nongshit Sajir, respected graduation speaker, Reverend Dr. Wati Ayer, Emeritus Professor of Constructive Theology and Philosophy at OTS, Dr. P. Sinat M. Chin, Chairman, CDC Board of Governors, CDC Board Members, Faculty and Staff Members, the graduating class of 2023, and the parents and relatives of the graduating class, CDC Life Members, Pastors from different churches, distinguished guests, and my dear community members, I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and also welcome all of you to the 48th CDC graduation ceremony. Our hearts are full of thanksgiving unto God for his graciousness, for his goodness and our lives. He has given us good weather and good time of coming together in his name to celebrate his faithfulness. In the life and ministry of Clark Theological College, we give all the glory and honor to God and praise his name. To all those present here today, indeed your presence in this program is very significant. 
and encouraging to all of us, especially to the graduating members. We have come here today to not only celebrate God's faithful, faithfulness in our lives, but also to celebrate the 108 graduating members who have successfully completed their studies at Clark and will be receiving their diplomas, certificates, awards, and prizes. Thank you so much because all these years you have not only been supporting your sons and daughters at Clark Theological College, but also supporting the ministry of the Clark Theological College. And we really appreciate your continued support towards the college. I personally appreciate and acknowledge the presence of Dr. P. Senep Mchen, Chairman, CDC Board of Governors, Dr. Senep is also the uh, Chief Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Officer, Mokuk Chung, and is a very dynamic, committed, dedicated servant of God, and always supportive and available towards the Ministry of Clark Geological College. We really thank him and thank God for his presence here this afternoon. And as a token of our appreciation and welcome, we would like to give him a little gift. And so uh, I would like to request Dr. Sinek to just stand up and receive the gift. We are so privileged and honored to have Reverend Dr. Wati Ayer as the speaker for this 48th graduation ceremony. The college requested him to be the speaker of the graduation ceremony, and we thank him for graciously accepting our request. He is our friend, colleague, theological educator, teacher, and mentor. He is down to earth, accessible, approachable, and we re really thank God for the servant of God in, in the person of Dr. Wati Ayer. After his graduation from Kohima Science College, completing PSC, he did MDF and MA in Theology and M MA from the Northern Baptist Theological Seminary, USA. He did his PhD from the Chicago Theological College, Chicago, USA. Dr. Wadi Ayer and his family left the United States during the uh, late 1980s, giving up a comfort, comfortable lifestyle and professional ministry as a pastor to respond to a prayer call at home in Nagaland to serve as a geological teacher. He joined the Clark Geological College as a faculty member in 1987 and served the college till 1991 with commitment and sincerity for four years. During these years, he rendered an immense contribution towards the life and ministry of Clark Geological College, and he left behind his footprints and legacy. We always remember and cherish this, all these uh, contributions. And his students and alumni remember him always, and we really cherish our friendship, and we continue to uh, hold him in our prayers. In 1991, the UBCC gave Dr. Wati Ayer the responsibility to start uh, the Oriental Theological Seminary, 
OTS from scratch, which is located in Pati village in Chumikitima district. That's with the blessing of the MBCC, Dr. Wati Ayer became the founder and principal of the OTS in 1991. He retired as the principal of the Oriental Geological College in 2017, after 26 years of years in the position. Dr. Wati Ayer continues to teach at OTS as the Emeritus Professor of Constructive Theology and Philosophy. Dr. Wati Ayer is one of the uh, prominent dedicated Naka leaders. He is the convener of the Forum for Naka Reconciliation since its formation in 2008. In March 2011, he was selected for the Baptist World Alliance Denton and Janice Lodz Human Rights Award in 2010. And he was in the recognition of his work for reconciliation among the various Naka political groups. Even among the Karen refugees in Burmese type quarter, he, met, he has made significant impact in bringing peace and justice among these people and places. The award was given to him in June 2011 at Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In 2014, Dr. Wati Ayer was the recipient of the Peace Channel Award in Nagale. On November 30th, 2019, he received the A. Kivichusa Memorial Citizenship Award. Though he is treated, he has published a number of his own books and edited books. A number of his articles were published in national and international journals. And to his credit, he ordered a bribe from the rice fields, a call of freedom for the Nagas, which has been a very resourceful book for many Nagas. His wife is none other than Mrs. Alongla D. Ayer, she was also an English teacher while they were serving at Clark Theological College. And presently, Mrs. Alung Lai is an Associate Professor of English and Communication at OTS. They are blessed with two children, Christina, daughter, and Justin, their son. And I hope both of them had a lot of childhood memories and experiences in the campus with your parents and the teacher is calling here at uh, the uh, uh, Tribal Welfare Christian School in the uh, college campus. Today they have uh, finished your higher studies and uh, your daughter Christ Christina is married and working as a lawyer in the United States and your son Justin is an associate professor and also director of communication in Boston College. We really, really thank you, thank God for the family that is that the Lord has blessed them and used them in a very, very special way for His kingdom and glory. Thank you once again, sir, for coming to us to address the graduating class this afternoon. Now, the token of our appreciation and welcome, we, are, we want to give you a small gift. And so may I request you to come over here and receive the little gift. Thank you so much, and may God bless us all. The graduating class of 2023, 
extends our warmest love and joy to everyone who has been part of our journey. We thank you for being our biggest support system since day one and even for being here until this very day. Looking back, we started our journey with fear and all these years we have had our own share of mountainous problems the giants and also we have had our own definition of what pain really looks like and what it feels like. Along the journey, some of us have lost our loved ones, but we are rest assured that we have a friend in Jesus. We have had mental breakdowns and sleepless nights in the pursuit of academic struggles, but we are ever grateful it only made us more stronger, more wiser, and more knowledgeable. Above all, CDC has given us so many good memories to cherish for a lifetime. And even as we graduate today and celebrate this success, we are reminded that God is faithful and that we are experiencing God's faithfulness in our journey. Today we are stronger, better, and wiser because God is in our story. God has been so faithful and each one of us, the graduates, standing here is a testimony of the goodness of God. We have finally made it to the end. And all glory be to God, because every giant has fallen before us, and we have triumphed over the odds.
seats here. Respected speaker of the 48th graduation ceremony of Clerk Theological College, Reverend Dr. Wati Ayer. Respected chairman of Clerk Theological College, Board of Governors, Dr. P. Sinap Imchen. Respected principal of Clerk Theological College, Professor Reverend Dr. A. Thumjan Jamir. Respected faculty and staff, family and friends, and my dearest community members of CLERC. I am standing here to share a few words of gratitude on behalf of 29 master's students who are graduating from five different departments, namely Christian theology, Christian ethics, pastoral counseling, Christian education, and communication. I joined for my master's after a gap break for 12 years. And, and when I joined, in the year 2021 for my masters. I never imagined that I will be standing here delivering this speech. I want to honor God even as I stand here and share a few words of thankfulness on behalf of my class. To the Board of Governors, for the wisdom you bring, the prayers that you pray, and the vision you bring, we want to say thank you. To our beloved faculty who give your all each and every day laboring to give us and provide us with a proper education and always pushing us to do our best even on days when we don't want to learn. I am sure there are days when we really disappointed you. I am sure that many times we did not live to your expectations as an individual and as a class. But that did not stop you from always believing that something would come out of this nothing person. Today we call and see ourselves as proud masters of our respective department. This is not just a degree that we have earned, but it has changed the way we see things in life. Our perspective, our approach have been broadened. We have learned to think critically in every situation, but most importantly, to think and act as a Christian. When we came here for the first time for our masters, I still remember one of our teachers saying to us that the world of theology, the world of theology is becoming so attractive and in such a scenario, the tendency is to end up compromising the centrality of Jesus Christ in our endeavors. Keep God at the center of your academic venture was the simple, clear, and strong message that we receive. Thank you, teachers, for your guidance, for your direction in our lives. Thank you for believing in us. Thank you for the patience that you have shown toward us. Thank you for investing in our lives. With utmost sincerity, I acknowledge the staff who are always behind the scene, rarely recognized rarely gets the spotlight, but working tirelessly, coordinating our lives and events, and keeping our college running efficiently. We are thankful for your life and ministry. To each member of each family whose support, sacrifice, and dedication is not overlooked, we thank you, especially the parents, the guardians, churches, and sponsors who paid for and who have supported throughout the education. We thank you and we really love you all. One element that sets clerk apart from many institutions and places is the community life that we exhibit. The level of influence that this community has met in our lives is enormous for which we are ever thankful to this clerk community. May God continue to use our community to be a source of implementing God's purpose in people's life. To my beloved MPH class of 2023, this is it, our graduation. It is a day where we thank all those people who have played a role in impacting our lives. Today we cry over our separation and cheer for a new beginning. There were times when we had fun and those will ever be precious memories. We have painted pictures that will stay with us. 
I am not only talking about the good ones. We also have times when we confronted, fought, and argued with one another. I thought back and realized that those rough patches in our lives made our life more beautiful, more colorful, and complete. From the day we met each other to the day we are graduating together, we have passed through many things that clear. We have fought hard and worked hard to rise to the challenges before us. More important of all, we have matured together. Today, as I see our class gathered in this place, in this hall, it is a proof that we all have succeeded. And with that, please allow me to say congratulations, my fellow MPH graduates. I would never argue that clerk is a perfect place. Yes, we do have loopholes, areas where we can definitely improve and perform better. But that does not keep me from saying that I will always be a proud, proud, proud alumni of Clerk Theological College. And that what I am today, what we are today, has to do a lot with the life and ministry of Clerk. As I conclude with my speech, allow me to quote from Gospel of John 3.30 that says, He must increase, but I must decrease. As a final word to my classmates and to all of us here, let us be reminded that we are a messenger and not the message. Sometimes we are so much caught up in promoting ourselves, our ministry, our family, our college, our church, our organization, that we lose the grip of the real thing. Let us make sure that in our lives and through our lives, God should come to the picture and occupy the headline. Let us love a little more, forgive a little more, accept a little more, understand a little more, and judge a little less. May God continue to bless CDC. May God continue to lead our CDC. Thank you. Respected leader of the graduation ceremony, Dr. Nungshi Zadir, Honorable Graduation Speaker, Rev. Dr. Wati Ayer, Respected Board Chairman, Dr. B. Sinat Inchen, esteemed Board Members, Respected Principal, Prof. Rev. Dr. A. Tunchun Jamir, Beloved Teachers and Staff Members, Loving Parents and Family Members, and to all my dear friends who have gathered here on this auspicious occasion, the 48th Graduation Ceremony 2023. A warm good afternoon and Christian greetings to you all in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for your presence here this afternoon to grace this life-changing occasion. I am extremely honored at the same time filled with gratitude to represent the graduating BD class of 2023 to deliver the response speech on behalf of our class. At the very outset, I would like to extend a hearty congratulations to all of my dear graduating friends for achieving this day of success and blessings. A time like this gives us pause for reflections. The fact that we are all here today in all smiles and gratefulness, donning our gowns that represents the final stage of our BD journey. It is indeed a remarkable achievement and we are deeply indebted to the college for helping us achieve our dreams. We are filled with gratefulness to have been trained under excellent faculty your devotion in spending extra hours to help us discover our potential and to keep the best of us in what we do and your inspirations that propelled us to reach the stars have been remarkable. On this day, we are profoundly grateful to our families, relatives, sponsors, well-wishers, churches and associations who have supported us in all aspects and cheered for us along the way. Thank you for your never-ceasing love, care and support and for your investment in our future that will build the world. Four years and five years of BD experiences with two modes of learning that is online and offline induced by the COVID-19 <coughs> pandemic had led a tremendous transition, first of its kind in our educational system. No matter how difficult it was to make all the adjustments, our class has made it till the end. We have fought a battle with hard work and resilience to rise to the challenges before us. Today, as I see our class gathered here in this August moment, 
it is a testimony that we have all succeeded. During these five to four years of rigorous beauty journey, we have experienced holistic approach to mission. Along with strict academic exercises and disciplines, we went through practical ministry, other co-curricular activities, by sharing and learning different life experiences. The beauty and standard of Clark Theological College is enhanced by the coexistence of people from different parts of India and even from other countries. And today we have learned so many things from each other's culture and tradition. We came here as infants in our understanding of theology. However, Clark Theological College has helped us in acquiring the needed wisdom and knowledge for our lives. Today, we are very proud to say that we are going out with a more profound form of experience and expressions of our faith through the deeper and broader understanding of our faith, doctrines, and theologies. We are going out with a better understanding and knowledge of the history of Christianity, concerns of Dalit, Adivasi, tribal and feminist theologies, with life and faith of the people of God of the Old Testament and the New Testament, Indian philosophy, understanding how our Indian society is, comprehending science and religion, other faith traditions, pastoral care and counseling, Christian education and ministerial formation, along with Paul's mission tactics, and taking up all the knowledge we have to face that is ahead of us. We take immense pleasure to take the identity of Clerk Theological College as we step out into the world with a mission for the great harvest by being a life transforming agent. To all my graduating friends, may we all continue to walk with our Lord in all of our ways and plant the seeds of love, patience, and kindness wherever we may be, so that the tree will grow and bear the same good fruits. At the same time, let us be bold, courageous, and give our best in everything that we are about to do for the Lord. To all my loving parents and family members who have gathered here today, may you never grow weary and tired in supporting your children, clothed with faith and hope. May blessings always follow your ways. And to my beloved juniors, may you always strive for excellence, but never forget the love of God and be diligent in recompensing to His call. If opportunity doesn't know, Create a tour for yourself by knowing your strengths and weaknesses. Today, we witness our graduation day as a blessing to the world. Let us recommit our lives once again to the Lord, as Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3 says, and I quote, Commit to the Lord in whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. Unquote. May the good Lord continue to bless us all. Thank you.
theological institution occupies a very, very special meaning. I'm sure you know that. During the medieval period in the history of the church, scholasticism stood up. University started with uh, scholastic people. And these scholastic people were basically theological students. Thomas Aquinas, Anselm, Peter Abelard, those great men and women of the scholastic period. And during this time, it was known as theology as the queen of sciences. This is not bracket, but that's what it is. If, if, if you want to clarify, Google around and see if I'm wrong or not. Theology was known as the queen of sciences. And I hope that today, as 108 of you, I would say 108 stalwarts of the crucified Christ, you are being reminded again of this special calling. Therefore, the special occasion is not only a reminder as much as an affirmation and commitment to the apostolic theology. Men and women sitting here who have sacrificed for many years to reach this state this afternoon. Indeed, you are the people of the cross. Mentored by the qualified faculty members of the Clark Theological College, the student community, we are testifying to the world of this unequivocal story, the story of the person of Jesus Christ. It's an honor, sir, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity, young people, for allowing me to share in this great occasion. I take this as an opportunity and a great honor given to me, and I stand here in front of you with a great sense of pride. Dear friends, allow me to share Paul's credo to the Philippines. It's a favorite passage of mine, and I would like to expound in this chapter 3. I'm going to be taking out 3 verses 12, 13, and 14. Note that I have already obtained all this, or have already been made perfect. But I praise on to take all of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Sisters and brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do. Forgetting what is behind and straining forward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Paul's narrative presents a classic tension between the now and the not yet. Students of biblical theology will know that phrase, the now and the aspiration for the future, or known as the future. The narrative is clear. Paul is looking back to the time of his conversion, towards a historic moment, a historic place where an objective encounter occurred. It was not only an emotional kind of an experience, but it was a de facto encounter that changed the course of his being. His encounter with the risen Lord, and he testified this, 
close reference will be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 8. And he says that it, it was that encounter that changed his identity. Paul's identity was no longer the same. Indeed, he was a different person with a different personality. And because of that, he's testifying that my life, in short, is a process. I keep on pressing on to the future goal. We have now the presentation of the graduating class of the Diploma in Church Music Ministry. I would like to request the DCMM candidates to kindly stand up. <coughs> I present to you, sir, the candidates who have been found qualified for the Diploma in Church Music Ministry of the Club Theological College. And now I pray that Dini receive them at your hand this day. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Board of Governors of the Clark Theological College, I admit you to the certificate of the Diploma in Church Music Ministry, urging you to walk and act that your conduct shall at all times glorify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and worthily sustain the honor of your standing in this college. As I read out your names, you please come forward and receive your diplomas. One, Mr. Ashimumba. Mr. Ashimumba is going to help in the music department in his church, Lakuni Baptist Church. Next, we have Ms. Lansana Sanglir. Lansana Sanglir is going to pursue further study, Bachelor of Music in the Margaret Shishak School of Music, Dimabor. Next, we have Libuk Yakut. Please come forward. Libuk Yakut is now enchanted to join Clark Theological College for Bachelor of Divinity. Next, we have Mr. Simpu Chamir. Mr. Simpu is still pursuing Bachelor of Music in Bangalore Conservative Conservatory of Music in Bangalore. Now we have Tino Kilan. Mr. Tino is also following Mr. Sampu to pursue <laughs> Bachelor of Music in Bangalore Conservatory of Music, Bangalore. And finally, we have Mr. Wipu. A. Kenemi, Mr. Wipu is going to help, uh, going to become music director, Timabur Sunni Baptist Church, Timabur. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the DCMM batch of 2023. Shall we give them a big hand? Thank you and God bless you. Thank you for doing this. Going to become Kohima Ao Baptist Aroko long-term missionary, Mishimi Akabi Mission under uh, our of British. Miss Sili El, Sili is going to become Associate Pastor Youth, Tang Nokyang Baptist Church, Nokyang, Noklang. Uh, sorry, Noklang. <laughs> Next, Yungmai Pong. Yungmai is going to become Hostel Warden Christian School, Longling. 
Next, Mr. Zimdong Changno. Changno. Zimdong is going to become Youth Director, Dumali Town, Baptist Church, Honorable Pradesh. And finally, from the graduate section, Mr. Adanjanba Longcha. Mr. Adanjanba is also planning for further study after a short break. Mr. R. Tokavi Chishi. Mr. Tokavi is praying for ministry. Mr. Seigin Tang, Tim Gel. Mr. Seigin is also praying for ministry. Mr. Susano. Susano will be Associate Pastor Youth at the Tuli London Baptist Church. Ms. Tito Kali Kipa. Ms. Tito Kali is praying for ministry. Ms. Zania H. Su. Zania is also praying for ministry. Master of Theology in Christian Ministry, Christian Education. Ms. Honmai Pong. Ms. Honmai will go as an as Assistant Professor at the Akabi College, Dimapur. Mr. Ibsen Manen. Ibsen Manen is praying for ministry. Mr. Kokivi L. Kipa. Mr. Kokivi is praying for ministry. Ms. Likihi S. Yapto. <coughs> Liki is also praying for ministry. Master of Theology in Communication, Mr. Boas Opa. Mr. Boas is praying for ministry. Ms. Imti Sangla Chamir. Imti Sangla is also praying for ministry. Mr. Moa Tanjan Longkomer. Moa will go back as the director in Life is Beautiful Ministry at Timapur. Ms. Inchombeni Mori. Ms. Inchombeni is praying for ministry. Ms. Sentinola. Ms. Sentinola is also praying for ministry. Ms. Tamsunongla. Tamsunongla is also praying for ministry. Mr. Toshimongwa. Mr. Toshimongwa will work as Associate Pastor Youth at Longcom Baptist Church. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, May I present to you the MTH class of 2023. Let us all give them a round of applause. You may be seated. Presentation of the graduating classes 2022-2023. Graduate of Diploma in divinity. I would like to request the BD candidates to kindly stand up. I present to you, sir, the candidates 
who had been found qualified for the graduate diploma in divinity of the Clark Theological College. And I pray that they may receive them at your hand this day. By virtue of the powers and authority vested in the Board of Governors of the Clark Theological College, I admit you to the certificate of the graduate diploma in divinity, urging you to walk and act that your conduct shall at all times glorify the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and worthily sustain the honor of your standing in this college. As I read out your names, you may please come forward and receive your diplomas. Akrino Elizabeth Ankami, Alistair Bilkart C.H. Marak, Auliba. Akrino is planning to go for cross cultural mission, worldwide evangelization for Christ. Alistair is planning for higher study. Auliba is going to be the Associate Youth Pastor of Yemkam Baptist Church. Arnit, please come forward. Arnit is from Mekalaya. He is going to be the Assistant Pastor of Kapara, Southwest Karo, Mekalaya. Shumangila. She is planning for MTH in Communication, Clark Theological College. Divai Ningxing, he is also praying for ministry. We have Ms. Ivita D. Marak, again from Mikalaya. She will become women pastor, Roni A. Sim Baptist Church. Next, we have Imli Moa. Imli Mo is going to become Associate Pastor Youth, Marangong Baptist Church. Next, we have Imsidla praying for ministry. Next, we have Imti Ramok. He will join Auliba. Akrino is planning to go for cross-cultural mission, worldwide evangelization for Christ. Alistair is planning for higher study. Auliba is going to be the associate youth pastor of Yemkam Baptist Church. Arnit, please come forward. Arnit is from Mekalaya. He is going to be the assistant pastor of Kapara Southwest Karo Mekalaya. Shumangila. She is planning for MTH in communication, Clark Theological College. Divine Nengxing, he is also praying for ministry. We have Ms. Ivita D. Marak, again from Mekalaya. She will become women pastor, Roni A. Sim Baptist Church. Next, we have Imli Moa. Imli Moa is going to become associate pastor youth, Marangong Baptist Church. Next, we have Imsidla praying for ministry. Next, we have Imti Ramok. He will join music study at Clark Theological College. Next, we have Imti Sulan Oktir. She is going to become children education director, Mitsimama Aopapti Church. 
Next, we have John Laiba Konyak. He will be appearing in a view for pastoral ministry next week. Next, we have Carmen Siege Marak from Nikolaya. He is going to become as assistant pastor, Ting Mangri Baptist Church, West Carroll Hills, Nikolaya. We have Kishin. She is going for diploma in clinical pastoral counseling and Bangalore Baptist Hospital, Bangalore. Next, we have Kivika and Rochel. He is also planning for further study in homiletics. Next, we have Lam Nyu Kangman. She is planning for MTH studies in Jurhat, EDC. Next, we have Lanoilla. She is also planning for further study. Next, we have Lipinda Zek Moli. He is planning for further study in music. Next, Lima Sengkem. Lima Sengkem is going to become the evangelist in Changriya Town Nagami's fellowship. Next, we have Lochumi A. Mori. She is going to become youth coordinator, NCF Shillong, Mikalaya. We have now Lung Chumba. Lung Chum is going to become lecturer, Emmanuel Bible Seminary in Timabur. Next, we have Moila Lungkamer. She will also join music study at Clark. We have next Mua Chungla. Mua Chungla is going to become mission teacher in evangelist in Dream Angels Academy, Kuch Piha, West Bengal. We have Mua Tula next. She is planning for MTS study Christian ethics here. Next, we have Macau B. Pum. Macau is going to become youth pastor doing some form of this church. Next, we have Nukchu Sanan. Sanan is going to become the church secretary, Longkong Baptist Church. Next, we have Parachila Imjun. She will also join music study at Clark. Next, we have Miss Regina Ayer. She will become missionary teacher, Tika Hills, Assam. Next, we have Rongsan Ritma. Rongsan Ritma is going to become a minister in the Rehovit Ministry, Missouri. Next, we have S. Mpung Tongchit Pong. He is going to become a missionary in Assam, also in Myanmar. Next, we have Sinop Chila Longkomer, praying for ministry. Next, we have Sanjum Sunla. She is also praying for ministry. Next, we have Mr. T. Nungsang Manan Ayer. Manan Ayer is going to become youth mentor, Mogokchung Town Baptist Arogo, Mogokchung. Temsonan Jamir. Next, Onan is also planning for further study after a short break. Next, we have Mr. Ting Lai, T. Kunya. Ting Lai is going to become Associate Youth Pastor, Mon Village Baptist Church, Mon. We have Wang Joy Songting from Arunachal Pradesh. He is going to become 
youth pastor Konsadown Baptist Church, Dirab District, Arunachal Pradesh. We have now Akinoni Aizumi. She is going to undergo diploma in clinical pastoral counseling in Baptist, Bangalore Baptist Hospital, Bangalore. Next, we have Alam Kala P. Chamir. She is going to join cross culture mission in the worldwide evangelization for Christ International. We have Brittany C.H. Momin, another man from Nikolaya. He will continue music study at CBC. Next, we have Carol Is Kikon. She is also planning for diploma in clinical pastoral counseling, Bangalore Baptist Hospital, Bangalore. Next, we have Chumai Pong. She will help her local church in Longling District, Pongqing Baptist Church. Next, Mr. Chubakamsu. He is also planning for further study after a short break. Next, we have In Chongbini M. Paton. In Chong is going to join Music Study Golden Ground Theological College, Dimabor. Next, we have Grimen C.H. Momin. He is entering pastoral ministry in the Lord Dora Banda, South Karo Hills, Nikolaya. Next, we have Hiatomain. He is going to become pastor, Zilian Baptist Church, Mitsubima. Next, we have Ms. Imlimana. Imliman is going to become youth pastor come education director, Madamiam Baptist Church. Next, we have Imlimungla Longkamer. Amungla is going to become mission teacher in evangelist, Dream Angels Academy, Coach Bihar, West Bengal. Next, we have Mr. El Pongni Kunyak. He is also planning for further study after a short break. Next, we have Mr. Longtang Loin, Longchar. He is become, he is going to become youth pastor, Yang Yamsen Baptist Church. Next, we have Mr. Mang Li Yangba. Mang Li is going to become youth pastor, Xiang Dunya Village, our Baptist Church. Next, we have Ms. Marmala. She is planning for MTH study at the Clark Theological College. Next, we have Moini S. Pong. She is going to become mission teacher in evangelist, Dream Angels Academy, Coach Bihar, West Bengal. Next, we have Mr. Mungko, John I. Chang. John is going to become, uh, going to enter pastoral ministry in the Eastern Naga Fellowship, Shalom, Mekhalaya. Miu Li Ao, please come forward. He is going to become pastor, Nongkin Baptist Church, Myanmar. Next, Ms. N. Yakirilla. Yakir Yakirina is going to become Associate Pastor Women, Marangkung School, Kambaun Baptist Church. Next, we have Mr. Nankin Namdu, planning for further study after a break, and he will help his church during the time. Next, we have Mr. O Shiluakam. He is going to become Youth Pastor, Nukman Baptist Church, Timabor. We have now Ms. Pangachila Ao. Ms. Pangachila is going to become Associate Pastor Youth, Car Baptist Church. We have now Ring Chamdi Joshua Konmai. He is also praying for ministry. Now we have Mr. Sampibong Longchar. 
Sang Bi Bong is going to become the Associate Pastor Youth Jungdia Baptist Church. Now we have Miss Sanayla. She is going to immediately join the Master of Theology in New Testament CBC. Next, we have Mr. Samjai Pong. He is also planning for music study. Next, we have Sinab Chungla. She will join MTH in Communication CDC. Next, we have Sintamilla MT. Amala MT is planning for further studies. Next, we have Talinungla Lungkamer. Anangla is going to become Youth Pastor Kam Christian Education Director, Chapu Baptist Church. Next, we have Temjin Lamla. Alamla is also praying for ministry. Next, we have Tia Akam. Mr. Tia is also planning to study music at Clark. Next, we have Tia Chungla East Lungkamer. She is also praying for ministry. Next, we have Mr. Tia Chungla Lungkamer. He is going to become Kohima Ao Baptist Aroko long-term missionary, Mishimi Akabi Mission under uh, our native British. Miss Sili Il. Sili is going to become Associate Pastor Youth, Tang Nokiam Baptist Church, Nokiam Noklang. Uh, sorry, Noklang. <laughs> Next, Yumai Pong. Yumai is going to become Hostel Warden Christian School, Longlin. Next, Mr. Zimdong Changnao. Changno. Zimdong is going to become Youth Director, Dumali Town, Baptist Church, Arnajal Pradesh. And finally, from the graduate section, Mr. Adanjanba Longchar. Mr. Adanjanba is also planning for further study after a short break. Seventy one point twenty five. Christian education, Miss Liki, he has yet to. Please come. Seventy percent. College Award for Academic Proficiency for Master of Theology in Communication. This award goes to Mr. Muatam Kin Longomber, 77.50 person. The three College Award for Academic Proficiency for Master of Theology in Christian Ethics. This award goes to Mr. Lisi V. Moore, 77.22 person. This is College Awards for Bachelor of Divinity, BD. One, M. Lung Chang Award for Academic Proficiency. The M. Lung Chang Award for the Academic Proficiency is awarded to a graduate for the highest academic achievement in BD level during his or her entire studies in the college. 
this year, the M. Lung Chang Award for Academic Proficiency goes to Ms. Sinaila. This is Cash Award. I've been Wadi Award for Christian Ministry. The Tapar I've been Wadi Award for Christian Ministry is given to a member of the graduating class who demonstrate outstanding ability in relating to academic learning, practical life and faith and shows a special gift for Christian ministry. And this year the award for Christian ministry goes to Ms. Imlimla and Mangli Yangbak. The College Award for General Contribution. And this award is given to a member of the graduating class who in the judgment of the faculty has made an outstanding overall general contribution towards college community life during his or study at PLA. And this year, the award for general contribution goes to Mr. T. Nonsamanan Ayer. Provincial Award for Best Conduct. The Best Conduct Award is given to a graduate who is in the observation of the faculty have reflected noteworthy Christian character in his, her behavior and attitude during the entire period of study. This year, the award for the Best Conduct goes to Ms. Sinaila and Mr. O. Shiloakam. This is all the case for us. Yeah, come, both of you. I an award for preaching. This award is given in honor of late Reverend Ayana, the first principal of the Clark Theological College. It is given to a member of graduating class who shows extraordinary gift for preaching the word with passion, sincerity, and relevance. The faculty body has decided to give this award to the winners for the first and second positions in the preaching contest. This year, the award for preaching goes to first position, Mr. T. Nung Samanan Ayer, 78.4. And the second position goes to Ms. Luchumi Mori, second position, 76.6. This is also cash award. <laughs> Reverend Dr. Takadamjin Award for Church Music. This award for church music is awarded to a member 
of the graduating class who made invaluable contribution towards community worship and, and is based on promise of excellent excellence in future to the church music. This year, the award for church music goes to Mr. Mang Liang Bak. Award for Field Education. This award is given to a member of the graduating class who made an outstanding contribution towards field education during the entire studies in the college. And this award goes to first position, Mr. D. Nongsamanan Ayer, 77.5. First position. And the second position goes to three graduating members, Mr. Mang Liangpa, 76.6, Mr. Mangut Jong Ai Chang, and Ms. Sinaila. All three of you, please come. Award for Barefoot Ministry. And this award is given to a member of graduating class who made a commitment to serve in a rural context of church ministry. And this year, the, this award goes to four members of the graduating class. As they read out your name, please come over here and receive the uh, award. Ms. Imlingungla Longomer. Ms. Moa Chungwa, Ms. Moni S. Pong, and Mr. Tia Tungzok, Longover. Yeah, this is another case of work. Renji Kaiser Award for Old Testament Studies. This award is given to a member of graduating class who obtained the highest marks in the overall Old Testament papers. And this award goes to Ms. Lochumi A. Mori, 80%. The College Award for Hebrew Language and Exegesis. This award is given to a member of the graduating class who obtained the highest marks in the Old Testament papers in Hebrew lang language and exegesis. And this award goes to Mr. Wang Joy Songting, 75%. Award for Greek language and exegesis. And this award is given to a member of the graduating class who obtained the highest marks in the New Testament papers in Greek language and exegesis. And this award goes to Ms. 
Sinai Lang, 80 person. And the College Award for Scripture Knowledge, this award also goes to Ms. Sinaila, 86. <laughs> Music Certificates. Our Theological College offers a certificate in fundamentals of music theory to students who are interested in the subject. And this year, four students are receiving the certificate. As I call out your names, please come and receive the certificates. Mr. Mooliva, Auliva, Mr. Auliva, Mr. Haitong Kane. Mr. Mang Li Yangwa and Mr. Tiaga. Certificate on Leadership, GLA, from Clark Center for Leadership Development, CCLD. The Clark Center for Leadership Development was officially inaugurated on 1st August 2007 during the 10th CDC Alumni Association meeting on mission consultation. The CCLD offers leadership training to the students in association with the Global Lead Alliance. And this year, 73 BD graduating students are receiving the certificate on leadership. And may I request the class representative of this graduating class to come and receive the certificates. College Awards for TCMM, Diploma in Church Music Ministry. The College Award for Diploma in Church Music Ministry is awarded to a graduate for the highest achievement in his, her class in the overall performances. And this award goes to Mr. Simple Jamir. Choir certificate. Beginning from 2014, the college has been giving certificate to those who have faithfully rendered their service to the ministry of the college choir. And then, I would like to make an information for all of us. After the prayer and benediction, the marshal and our still gazed on the dais. Um, the graduating students will lead and will go up to the main campus alone. I would like to request all the congregation to kindly follow, greet and congratulate our graduates and stay back for the graduating tea and snacks. In closing, shall we turn to the hymn, O oh Jesus, I have promised found in our program, printed in our program. Oh Jesus, I have promised, shall we all stand? <laughs> 